What's up everyone? Netherboid back with more Satisfactory. Episode 52. 52. Now, off camera, right? Well, not off camera. But in between episode 51 and 52, we had the, the two-hour live stream on Monday nights, 5 p.m. 5, 5 Pacific on Twitch. Uh, be there every week. I do it every week. We had, some, had a good time, as you can see. Added a lot to the freeway system. Um, and I had some revelations and stuff I want to talk about. We're on pause. Let's unpause. Um, and then last episode, what we did, though, is we added the uh, refinery B that changed our um, residual heavy oil into fuel. And then from there, we sent that to the packager to package it up. And really, that was just to uncork, basically, the plastic and rubber uh, production. So um, I know in the future that fuel will probably have to go to the fuel, um, right, the fuel plants to produce energy and power. And we'll have to really amp up that whole line over there and probably tap a, a couple more... Uh, nodes of oil and stuff like that. I know we've also also had some comments from uh, Master Alex S talking about too many pumps. I'm gonna go check that out. I did watch a video. Um, if I forget to put a link, let me know to this video. It's X X Clips. Why your fuel or why your water doesn't flow or your uh, fluids don't flow or something like that. Um, it also links to a document I thought was really cool. It's like a like a little, like a little manual on how to use pumps and stuff like that. So. Um, I did a little bit of research, basically, off camera. Also came to the conclusion, uh, also in the stream, sorry, uh, we set up basically all the inputs that are necessary for uh, circuit boards here. Um, so we'll be making some of those. And then um, we also need to make heavy modular frames and oscillators, right? We didn't add that, actually. Let's, let's add that as a line item. Uh, crystal oscillators, right? Because we're going to need those for our computers. Wait a minute. Yeah, okay, because it's going to be heavy oscillator and circuit board is going to make our computer, okay? So we need to add crystals, uh, oscillators right here. Chris, crystal, oscillator. Let's just do it like that because I'm not sure how many more characters I have. I might run out of character space here. Um, so I set this up uh, on the stream, and right now for plastic, I'm just dumping plastic in a box. Um, in the future, the plan is to automate that. Now, that might not, not actually happen. And let's talk about that for a second, too, as we jump down to the truck and get back over to where I'm going to have the manufacturing facility or maybe where it was going to be. Because um, I think what I'm going to do, now that I know what I do know about this game, let's just drive the truck just kind of for fun. I was using the truck to ferry goods back and forth between, like, um, that circuit board um, build and also the manufacturing area because it's not going to be automated. I just wanted, I just wanted to get down... Uh, do a couple of milestones and stuff and get that finished. Now, actually, I don't show any milestones. Is that because... And you're seeing kind of why I want to do a new uh, do a new season right here. Uh, I'll tell you one in a second here. Break. I learned that spacebar is break. I was doing some Tokyo Drift on the stream. And Jesse helped me with that. Break is the, how you do the Tokyo Drift. So, oh, there are my objectives. Okay, it was just because I was in the truck, which is really strange. Um, so yeah, freeway systems, not really working out how I'd like. It's really like, basically when you have a freeway, you don't want to go up or down. You just want to have it on the same plane all the time. So that's what I was thinking about doing, uh, because even with four meter ramps, apparently trains, are, I'm not going to be able to use my trains very much. Uh, let's drive the truck all the way up to the manufacturing area here. So... Now that I know about this game, and I would say definitely not finished, obviously, there's a lot, there's, there is basically tier 6, 7, and 8 left still, um, so I don't know the whole game, but I know enough about the game to know what I like and don't like, and what's kind of causing issues, and what is really working well, and I would say, um, one of the main things, uh, is, and I probably should have written this stuff down, Actually, I do have a list of stuff because I started building a mod list that would help me with these quality of life issues. It's really quality of life. And what I'm kind of proposing to do is kind of put uh, put an end to this season and call it good and then start another season with a few mods that kind of give me the quality of life I'm looking for to so make the series more fun and have it less about me cramming off camera to build buildings and stuff, okay? Um, and then another thing I don't like is having to rip out my logistics networks every time I want to change something because I'm building my buildings kind of far away. I'm building my buildings in anticipation of a train network, and I don't want to wait 75% through the game or whatever to get trains 
online, right? Nothing else really fits that kind of a network. Um, trucks do kind of fit. Again, they come, I think they're three or four, but you really don't have the fuel even to make the trucks work right. You're going to have to refuel them all the time, and it's going to be kind of a pain in the butt. So what I'm going to do, and even that network doesn't really work well with trucks. I mean, not really. If you're The, the train and the... Um, actually, first, let's look at power before we do that. The train and the truck system are different enough that you probably will have two systems, not necessarily. You could build your truck network, right, the freeways that connect them, to also be able to use trains. You could do that. Um, but then you're going to set up all those trucks and get it all working, and then just basically have to throw all your trucks away and stuff. So instead of doing that, I decided maybe it was a better idea to just start over from scratch. You can see we're right on the line. Um, it's weird that my consumption is not over 2400 because I'm pretty sure I li I put enough stuff in for, for it to be over. And that means we probably have a break in this line somewhere from when, we, when I was ripping out um, ripping out freeways and stuff. But what we're going to do, because we don't really care about that currently, we're trying to get heavy modular frames online. So I already set it up over here. This is going to be, or was going to be probably, the um, manufacturing facility area because uh, it's really open and flat, and I wanted to put a bunch of buildings in here. I want my facility to kind of like have four leafs with a central area for storage. Um, the thing I haven't worked out yet is how I'm going to get trains to hook up to that, but what I'll probably end up doing is having the trains hook up on a lower level, feed a bunch of materials into the central network, then I can pull off and split over to anywhere I need to go. Um, now that'll be kind of messy because I'm going to have splitters all over the place and kind of have some spaghetti there. I might try to stick with conduits, like something that's going to this leaf. We're going to conduit it up in this area, right? We're going to split off into this area. So I might, th I got to think about how do I have a four-way split thing so I can run it to a certain spot, right, out of a box, and then from that location, I can split to any of the conduits, okay? That's basically how I'm going to do it. I just thought of that off the top of my head. It will probably take some time to figure out properly. But in the meantime, we're going to keep going with this series until I get um, season two set up. Tell me in the comment section what do you think, what you think about that idea. But we got to get modular, heavy modular frames going. And again, I just want to get um, some of these um, milestones complete. I don't need to have full automation until I get trains. That's why I did it this way. So I need four things, right? Frames, I, EIBs, steel pipes, and concrete. Because I did get the alternate recipe. So let's just get this guy fired up. Okay, he's got power now. And then I've got stuff in all the boxes, pretty much with the ratios necessary. Um, I mean, not exactly. I have way too many pipes, really. But that looks pretty decent. Now let's just hook up all the belts, and we're going to let this thing rip. Uh, and we're going to get uh, heavy modular frames off the other side of this thing. So really nothing special here. Just hooking it up to this box. And then all the frames are going to go to this box. Okay? That's really it. Because we need those to make trains and other things. Okay? So, I'm looking at a few different mods to get me to, the, to what I feel is something with better quality of life. Let's, let's, let's talk about the things that I really didn't like, right? Now we're going to do um, crystal oscillators. Again, I just basically off-camera moved up all the different stuff I would need. I got the um, alt recipe. I think this is the alt recipe. It might be the standard one, actually. This is the standard recipe. Yeah, standard recipe. Okay. This is also just going to dump stuff into a box. Actually, it's already hooked up. I mean, interesting. I, I didn't do that, but at least I didn't think I did. So let's get this guy hooked up like this. He only has three inputs, right? And then he's got, obviously, an output just like this guy does. He's going to put it into a box. That's it. That's the whole thing. Because it just makes more sense, in my opinion, to set it up this way. Like, I don't need a, a, a really complicated, automated way. I don't I don't want to run seven or eight belts up here. Then when I get trains, rip all the belts out. Like, I really don't want to do that. Also, setting up trucks would be very similar. Um, a big nightmare when I'm just going to put trains in. So I don't want to I don't want to redo it. I just don't want to rebuild it. All right, so that guy's going. We're going to get 2.8 out of that guy per minute and one per minute out of this guy, which is not that many, but I think it's enough to get, we want, get what we want. So let's mark those off the list uh, really quickly. That's really wasn't much to do. We were just really getting them going. That's what we're doing. Now we're going to do the circuit boards. This is going to be a... Uh, well, no, because we're using plastic. It's going to be another temporary build. Again, we'll just leave the... Mm, let's drive the truck down to, to the... Um, 
This is the truck I use to move stuff, so why don't we drive this down to the, con the junction down there? So that when I go get it, it's in a central location. And we're hitting these birds on, on the stream, and it's kind of fun. Um, I'm going to drive it just down to here. Because... I don't really need it down. I'm not going to drive it all the way down for now. We'll just have to come get it. It's fine. It's not a big deal. All right, let's go to circuit boards. Again, these freeways aren't set up the way I want them, and they won't be. So again, my primary concern about the game, I won't say complaint. I know there's some people that like just really love this game, and I do like this game too. I think there might be some like really rabid fans of this game, and, and you have to be really careful how you talk about it because, oh, that looks really beautiful. I never saw that before. I love the, the... This game is beautiful. I will say that. For all that I complain about 3D when I'm trying to build, and that's probably a normal complaint from a lot of people, um, it is beautiful. It is really beautiful. Uh, and actually, now I want to use that to extract water so I can have some gravity assist. Uh, you can tell I've been reading that, that water doc... or that liquid document. But anyway, let's get over here and slap this thing in. We already have everything we're going to need um, up there. And then we don't have what we need for computers. Plus, we have to wait till the oscillators produce, right? So we can't really get very far anyway into the build here. But so, yeah, back to things I want for quality of life. And we've already got one uh, assembler here from the, the time we set up motors, right? Just to get the other side put in. So let's pick our circuit board build. Are we doing the alt build? No. Why not? Why are we not doing the alt build? I also have quick wire. 48 seconds produces 7. 8 seconds produces 1. Yeah, we're going to use the alt build. What am I doing? That means i got to change what's coming in over here. i got to rip this out. No problem. All I did was rip this off the bottom of the... Um, what's coming in down below. So let's just pull this back out and let's get that quick wire... Uh, can I just jump down? Yeah, that's how I got down here last time. I take some damage, but that's fine. Let's uh, just get this back in and take out the splitter. That's that's probably the cleanest way to do this. So the way I did that before was just I pulled it off of this. Now, I'm not going to be able to do tier 2. So, well, I can, but why, not? why am I going to do that, right? Let's just do that, and we'll get that rehooked up. So for quick wire, we're going to split it off this, which is kind of a pain. And I probably should have left that floor hole in, to be honest. Um, why don't I go put the floor hole back in, and then we can see where we should probably pull this, this stuff in. Um, I got a few alt recipes off camera too on the stream. Uh, off camera meaning not in a YouTube video. But, um, but yeah, they're gonna, they're gonna help a lot. So, first thing I'm thinking for this new build, and I wouldn't even say this is gonna be a modded Let's Play, even though it is, technically, it is gonna be modded. Why don't we just put a box in here? I'm just going to put a box in, because that way we'll get some buffer, just in case something runs out or whatever. Oops, nope. Um, is I'm going to put, I think this mod will work. I don't know if it's been updated, because it's pretty old. It's a mod called Cheap Trains, and what it does is it adds trains in. Okay, so we want it like right there. Let's do a floor hole right here. I don't know if we can actually use this floor hole, but at least it'll tell us where it is. And then I guess I'll just connect this to it right away. Like, why not, right? There we go. So what what Cheap Trains does is it creates a set of trains that come out on Tier 1. Now, Tier 1 is a little early, in my opinion. But, you know, beggars are not going to be choosers, right? So I will probably be putting that mod in if it is indeed updated. Why don't we put a splitter... Why don't we draw this in and see if I can put a splitter on the belt itself? I think it will be right there. Right? I think that'll connect. And now let's put a splitter in. And you now, see, when I snap, it doesn't work. Will that connect? Probably it won't. Okay, so I know that worked with at least with that splitter because there's some buffer inside of a splitter. But since we don't have anything going up, let's re redo this. It was good to have it in there anyway just because... Oops. I wanted to see where I would need to connect it. Now this should auto connect. Yeah, see how you hear the beep? There we go. Now we got quick wire going in. It's that easy. The thing that it is is we're not feeding the quick wire 
as fast as possible here. We might have to uh, uh, update that or amp it up, our factory over there. Um, so cheap trains, you get trains at tier one now, and it basically copies all the train assets, which I think is good. Um, because then when I get trains at the actual level you're supposed to get them, right, uh, tier six, I can just replace the quick trains train assets with the regular train train assets. And the reason I want to do that is the quick trains train assets now, they do use less power. I believe it's 1 to 10 megawatts because it's supposed to be appropriate to that power level. But they only have half the capacity as, as regular trains. And so I like that stepped approach. Remember, I've been talking about that all through this series is wouldn't it be cool if that had a more stepped approach to vehicles that use the same logistical um let's say, network, right? So that when you lay stuff down, all the logistics vehicles are using that network. So you don't have to rip the whole network out um, and then lay another network. So it has that. I like it. Now, I'm hoping it got updated because I think the last update I saw was update 3 when I was just checking things out. But it probably did. I hope it did. If not, I'll try to find something else. The other, next one is PAK, P-A-K. It's basically a hover pack mod that I'll be able to use pretty much right away. It gives you flight, which I don't really like. I wish it consumed some fuel or something like that. I wish it was like quick trains or cheap trains in that it gave you um, the hover pack earlier, but still required, you know, a pretty hefty investment, right? That's what I really wanted. Um, okay, so we usually like to do... Uh, let's see how many of these we're going to need. So I don't even know how many per second we're getting off this. Well, that's actually, honestly, that's 320. It's however fast we feed it. I want to say this is coming in also at 270 because we have a lot of quick wire pumping out on there. We are sharing that with another build, but it's currently not using that much, and if it is, it's you can't even tell. Um, so why don't we get this guy set up? We're going to need, let's see, 37 quick wire. So we can make like four of these guys. That's not even using that much. So let's just get four of them because if we think about computer, which is going to be the next assembler, right? How many are we going to need per minute to make computers? We're going to need seven per minute. So we're, we're only going to use, like, two of these. We're only going to have two computer machines. So we actually probably don't even need four of these circuit board ones. We only need, like, two. Excuse me. Let's look. I think we only need two, right? Yeah, eight, 8.7, and this is 7.5. So we only need two of these guys, actually. Uh, let's just copy-paste here. So, pack will allow me to float around, and that was one of my biggest kind of difficulties with building in this game, is just eyeballing all the 3D stuff. Did I do that right? I don't think I did. That's not typical, at least. Is eyeballing all the 3D stuff. Now, I've gotten better over time, but still, like, it's, it's just, you know, creates difficulty where it's not necessary, right? It's not difficulty like the game's being difficult where you have to calculate something, which would be kind of neat, actually. Um, it's just difficulty for... For, for no, like, doesn't give you any benefit. So I'm going to be, let's input, right? We're going to take product. I'll be using that. Another thing it does, I think, and it also is going to add some quality of life to building bridges. Like, I can actually flow, fly underneath it and build stuff underneath the bridge and everything. Um, when I get the hover pack, I will be using the actual hover pack, which means I'm going to be consuming fuel and all that. It's just going to get me to that point. Another thing it's going to be able to do is... Um, it's going to help me make more videos. I won't have to spend as much time running around and um, climbing cliffs to get hard drives and, and all that stuff. It just makes sense. Like, I need to spend as little time out off camera as possible so I can bring you more videos. Okay? It doesn't make any sense for me to spend two, three hours off camera and not have any video for you guys to see. Okay, we've got two of these guys set up. Let's go downstairs and just set this up. We're going to need a box. We're going to need all that stuff. I didn't set up the output yet. Uh, oops, went down a little too far. Let's, we don't have this properly set up yet. And now I'm thinking we might never have it properly set up. So we're going to do the same input system we have over here. Let's get that in first, actually, and then we will do the product here. Let's line this guy up. Right, this is going to be, where's the whole, what? Oh, we don't have three of them, okay. So he's the first one. He's the first guy right here. I want to say, well, it's inside, right? I believe that's correct. Yeah, okay, got lucky. And it, it is receiving on that side. So let's put this one in, and then we'll be done. Bam. Now for this, we're going to go out some right there. It's got to clip a tiny bit, right? 
I think that's that's right, I think. That looks correct. We'll see. I think it goes like this. Yep, that's right. And, yep, it's going in the correct direction. And it's lined up with that guy. So that's perfect. Let's do one more of those. I'm going to get an auto save. Yeah. Now we have the lines, so that's perfect. That makes it way easier. Okay, I'm going to trust that this is correct. It is. And the direction is right. Right? Input in the back. Okay, cool. So those are... S oh, nope. Great. Got two of those guys. Um, so pack is going to help, I think. Uh, another one is smart. That's going to let me build huge areas of foundation a lot easier, huge walls and stuff, and just, again, spend less time doing kind of the tedious stuff, right? The kind of... Oh, I put it... Oh, man. Okay. Let's just put it in again. Oh, that means this is not right, and it's not even in the right spot. See, I think with the ability to... to ability to hover will hopefully help with those kind of things that you just saw right there. Nope, incorrect again. Let's put the first one right there. Okay, is that right? Yes. So, smart. Going to help me build a lot faster. And then that's also going to go with, I don't know if I can get it to work. We're going to check to see if it works right. Again, I don't know if all these things are going to work. I'm just going to, I just hope they will. But one called area action. And area action allows you to copy paste. Okay, so I'm kind of hoping that's going to allow me to copy-paste blueprints and stuff. Um, I'm, I'm hoping that's... Nope, it's one off. Alright, let's try one more time. Is that too close now? Yeah, that's too close. It'd be nice if there was some kind of indicator on the ground or something. Some, some kind of paint. The line helps, but it doesn't line up like when you're doing it this way. It only lines up with the same place on the ground. So... This needs to be a merger. Almost screwed that up. And the output goes forward. So let's put another one in. Um, so area action is going to help me, I believe, with building buildings faster. Again, the faster I can just slap a building down, the faster I can get back to actually building. Right? To actually putting in machines and stuff like that. Um, I think it could be fun to watch me build something really cool. Like an outside building that's really cool. But a lot of people also don't like that. They're like, wow, this is really mm, just not interesting. Now it's different. Mm, yeah, actually, that's correct, because that we're putting product into this into the merger and sending it downstream, right? Um, I think that's great. Th those are things that are great for streaming, when you can interact with people, like live, okay? But I think when it's on a video, it needs to be more exciting just more often. Just way more exciting, way faster, do everything quick, just get everything done. Um, those seem to be the best videos, uh, even for Let's Play, which I think is interesting. Let's Play is supposed to be basically watch someone play the game, but um, it just tends to be better. People just don't like to see me build the same building 59 times. You know, and honestly, I don't like to be build the same building 59 times. Now, you know, people would say, well, why don't you build different buildings each time? True. Also, I don't have time for that. I really wish I did. Uh, I really wish I did this for a living, to be honest. Because I would love to do that, but I don't. I don't do this for a living, so I don't really have that luxury. All right, let's put this into the product area we have right here. Let's do our regular setup, which is splitter in the back, smart splitter, right? And then these boxes, one for us, one for everybody else. We will still build this right. I know how I want it built. I almost fell off just there, if you, didn't, if you noticed. Let me know what you think in the comment section about all this stuff. I'm, I'm totally open to suggestions, um, ideas, thoughts, what you guys think about it. That Why is it not snapping? There we go. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Also, micromanage is a quality of life thing. And really, it's not really... I don't think it's necessary for making anything easier or better or anything like that. But what it does is does help you line up certain parts of buildings and make them look prettier. And I think that's kind of fun. I think that's that's a good idea. Uh, how are motors anyway? Do we need to sync these guys, guys yet? Not really. I feel like we're not getting any hardly. Why are we not getting any? Let's turn this thing on and then we'll, and we'll screw around with the motors. Okay, we're getting uh, some, just not very often. The builds slow down a lot as you uh, kind of get deeper into things. 
you really just amp that up by just amping, like adding everything, right? You're just more of everything. More iron, more more dolts, just more of everything uh, kind of gets you that. Actually, let's do the lifts first. We want to, yeah, we're taking in right here, and it's already preset up, so that's fine. Let's get, mm, yeah, let's get these in too. Mm, that's wrong. Let's see that line. That's good. I like that. So, I don't know. I think it's going to be better. What's everything I've learned, it's going to be a little less frustrating, I think also not not just for for um it's going to be less frustrating to watch kind of because the original episodes, I mean, it's like man, I don't know about the original. Oh, oh, kind of did that backward. We like doing this first. And that's it. That's actually there's only one. There's only one contact point there. And then there's one here. There we go. Okay, that's set up. Let's get this in there. We'll do supports probably never now. <laughs> Let's put quick wire in the bottom, and we'll put plastic in the top. We're really just going to literally do it like that. Uh, like that. That's good. I don't even... You know, I think in the future, I'm probably just going to... Well, I might do a little bit more stuff, making it look nice. I do kind of like that. Is it... Something doesn't look right. Well, it looks like it's filled. I know it doesn't have power. Let's give it power. It's got jank power. That's, that's still fine. We're just going to probably pull off this guy. Let's pull... No, then he's going to have four. That's okay. We'll pull off this guy and do, do some back here. Actually, we'll just do it in the front. I really only need one pull. And then I'm just going to do that. Actually, no, we'll have one pole for each. That way we don't clog it up. And circuit boards. Circuit boards are in. They're producing. So that's cool. Now we're going to have circuit boards for computers. So now we can check that off. Um, and that's not really a complete build because we didn't do the power conduit. There's a few things we didn't do, right? But again, I think with copy-paste, I might be able to copy-paste power conduits. Then I don't have to spend 20 minutes setting up a power conduit. And it still looks nice, you know? Alright, so all the stuff will be going downstairs. Let's see it pop out. We should be getting a bunch of these guys, because we got about 20 per minute coming out of here. 20 per minute. Where are you? Stuff's flying in. That's weird. I'm probably going to keep the same building layout, too. I really like it. Okay, it's exporting. Where is it flowing? Okay, here we go. Maybe the first of the batches just started coming out. Okay, that's cool. So now we have circuit boards. Now we just need computers. I think I'm going to start setting that up, and then we'll go get some crystal oscillators, right? So for this, we're going to have to route this straight back through because computers are going to be right there. So what we're going to do is route it. Let's see. Let's put doors and stuff in here so we know where we're going with everything. Let's do a, little more, a bit more painting and stuff. Yeah, and I think, you know, it, it just it's just really hard for me to record enough videos to do this. So we're going to have to get some help. It's also just going to help me love the game. <laughs> and did I just paint something wrong? Probably. Um, so I don't know. Tell me in the comment section if you would consider... I think I just painted the stairway wrong, too. I need to get that video carpet in. I, I at least checked... Okay. So, a lot of things have been happening all at once as far as stuff I need to get fixed. And, um, I had to check engine light on my car go on. So obviously that took top priority. It's my backup car. My Harley's actually my main vehicle. But I wanted to get that done because it started raining and I, and I can't... I don't have a vehicle now. So my girlfriend's been kind of driving me back and forth to her place. Um, but... So I checked the engine code. I pulled the engine code on my car. And I don't have the device I used handy. Yeah, I do. I used one of these code readers. I got this on Amazon. I don't know how long ago. Still works. Pulled the codes. I'm glad I did. Uh, check the gas cap. It's loose, probably, because it was a vacuum pressure sensor. So I opened the gas cap up, closed it again, and I cleared the code, and the code never came back. So that's just saving me like 400 bucks. Sweet. That's real life 
fact, uh, satisfactory right there. <laughs> Use an alternate recipe. Instead of going to the dealership or to a mechanic, the alt recipe is to get a code reader and see if it's actually a problem. Because I guarantee if you drive your car in there, you're not leaving for less than 500 bucks. I don't care if nothing's wrong. I've had one time where a guy said, yeah, there was one little thing loose and I just fixed it. And uh, like a screw was loose on a wire. And so it's free. I was like, wow, that's really cool. Usually it's like, oh, yeah, you need this to repair. You need that. And this is messed up. And you got to, oh, you got to do this. And it's like, yeah, you're in there forever. Um, you owe them every, you owe them your life. <laughs> you're just not getting out of there for cheap. All right, uh, especially now with the the way the economy is working, people need money, man. So they're gonna figure out a way to get your get money. Uh, there we go. That's perfect. Like that. Okay, cool. I just need to know where these floor holes go, these conveyor holes. So normally the conveyor hole for the product would be there. And wait a minute. This is not right either. This doesn't seem right. One, two, three. Oh, it's not completely built. No wonder. No wonder it's not. Oh, okay, well, let's build it out a little more. We're going to need it now. Oh, this is dicey. It's always dicey when you have to do something like that. All right. So, is it built all the way out? No. Let's just finish this up. Let's just finish this floor up. Another th reason I want to have that copy-paste is I'm tired of having half-built buildings. But at the same time, again, I gotta get these videos out. I can't wait. So I end up just building like part of it on camera and it looks jank and it's like half built like this. It just looks ugly. I don't like it. Okay, so yeah, the first floor hole would go there. And then this would actually extend out to to here, right? Before we do the special thing that we do. So that means the second product would be there. Right? That's how we do it. Yeah, see? That's how we're doing it over here. So that means I can pull an input through that hole right there. So that's what I'm going to do. But I am going to make it look a little nice. I think what I'm going to do, since this is a walkway, is I'll pull it up and over, right? So that means I got to pull it from here. This is the supply guy, right? Oh, pfft. oh my god, I haven't set this up. Okay, any and any. So half of them are going to go to us. This is the stuff where I pull. Actually, I'm thinking for right now, let's kill this. Let's kill that belt. Let's just fill this up, because we need this for computers, right? We'll do it like we did motors. Until this side fills up, we'll, we're going to leave it alone. So what I'm going to do from here is pull out from this guy, and we're going to go over the top of this of this walkway here. So why don't we get it to here, and we'll go up. Oh, that didn't work. That's not what I wanted, because I did it wrong. I know people are like, well, that's how you did it. Yeah, I know, dude. I'm just messing. We're going to go up. One is good enough to make a walkway, right? Actually, that's not going to really work because we're going to have a bunch of overhead things in here and ramps and stuff, but we're going to do it anyway because we don't care right now. Actually, what we're going to do is copy this. Yeah, that should work. We're going to put it here. One in. Like that. There we go. So I think in the future I'm going to try to do this kind of stuff too. Now, let's get it off this ramp. Maybe to here. So it doesn't... Yeah, there we go. That looks a lot better. Alright, cool. So we've got that. Now let's keep going with it. Because we've got to bring it all the way back here. It's got to go all the way back through the factory again. Right? The factory floor. Now this is on a line right in the center right here. So we'll just periodically drop those guys. Um... And then we'll put this in a box, too, just because I like doing that. Because, again, part of the reason to do that, and I know I'm not going to save keep this series, so it probably doesn't matter that much, but part of the reason for doing it is because, and actually this is going to be funky, because it's got to go in and out the same one. Why don't you use a two? So it's going to go out and in and then through this hole, okay? So that means I'm going to want to curve this right now while I have space. In fact, let's turn it. Can I... Mm, we're going to turn it like that. And then... I, well, I don't like that it doesn't do that. There's a way to get it to, to turn the other way. And I think it's like this. Although this is going to be backward now. But what I'm going to do is just get rid of this belt. And I think the conveyor also will be backward. I don't think this will hook. Yeah, see, it won't. Well, wait. It worked. Cool, okay. 
is because you never know when you're going to move a build. And because of that, I really want to make sure that this kind of fits in correctly. Because I might move this. And if I move it, then I want to be able to just take take this connection out and have the box still here. Now this is going to be weird. I think. Oh, it's just going to go straight. Okay, cool. It's going to go straight in. Sweet. So the second thing we need is oscillators. And I think we want to use, right, we want to use both of those like that. Right? We want to use um, this floor hole, and we want to use this one, basically this wall. And then we're going to have a door right here. Like that. Okay, cool. Let's fill this in. Oh, we got a, we got our um, power coming through there, huh? Okay, that's fine. All right, that's how that's going to work. How much time we got anyway? I don't even have that loaded. We got, we got 20 more minutes. We can definitely get this in. I can go get some oscillators. Probably get computers on this one, too. Uh, tell me if, what mods you use if you do use mods. I'm also in the market for different mods. Again, I'm mostly looking for quality of life mods, not... Um, not mods that add stuff to the game. I'm not looking for that right now. Um, I haven't. I don't even feel like I've done a full playthrough. I haven't. So I'm really just not looking to add anything new to the game. And um, I want people to be able to relate. And if we have just the regular things, people can relate. Um, well, we're going to have to finish this, too. And I can't get up there. Let's see. Um, yeah, right here. Let's finish this. Oops. Plus, copy-paste will, you know, keep that from happening. Okay, now we've got this. Let's copy this guy. Got to put him in like this. Computer build's only going to need one of these. And I believe it goes up two. I want to say it's two. Maybe it's one. Yeah, it's one. All right, let's copy this guy and just put him over here. One. And we'll snap this guy in. Like that. All right. Back to the build. Okay, one dude doing computers. So, again, if I have a big logistics network, right, of trains and everything from the beginning, I can just set stuff up. What I want to do is not run belts in between. Once I set up a train area, like a track... I want to reuse that track. Now, I'm going to have to be careful because I don't want the trains to build up on the tracks, right? If you get too many trains using the same track, um, they all get stopped up, right? Your whole system gets stopped. You're literally, your logistics system will grind to a halt. It happens in Factorio. It'll happen in any game, basically. Uh, we're going to receive from this guy, and this guy we're going to deliver. So he's going to actually have to change. There we go. Um, so... I think the four foundation-wide um, logistics, tip, maybe just the typical main thoroughfare would be good because then I can put four tracks, right? I can put one going each way, which would be a normal, the normal way I would do it anyway. But I can have actually a second um, track in there for, for twice as many trains, right? And maybe what I can do from there, actually if I have a main train area, is actually have... Um, a side loops, right? So, like, let's say a guy is getting ore or something. I don't have to have him on the main track for long periods of time. I can have him divert into the local loop until he actually gets off the main track. Okay? So there's a couple cool things you can do, I think, with trains. And it should be fun. We'll, we'll see how it works. But, again, I get to have my trains pretty early at Tier 1. Oh, that's going to be not what I want. Yeah, that's, that's not what I want. So I need to move this over. Let's just move it um, starting here, I guess. Where are we going to put this? I could put it running up. Mm, even running up against it. Eh, that's probably fine. Let's just move this thing. No, I don't want the pole. I just want that. There we go. Let's do that thing we did. Yeah, because we want it to be more like this. And then what I can do is, is grab one of these poles and just do this to it. Because I want to run it, like, right here, actually. I want to run it right there. 
I probably turned it too much. That's where I want it, I want it to run to. Yeah. Let's do that again. And in fact, I'm just going to do it like that. It's totally fine. There we go. Which means we're going to have to move this whole thing. So that should be a lot more fun. It's going to take a while to hook, hook up correctly, like hook that train line up. It's not going to be super easy. It's going to take a while. But it's going to be fun. And uh, it's going to be neat to have my logistics network pretty much the, dialed in from the beginning and not have to do a lot of rebuilding. Uh, it's going to clip a little bit. I think that's okay. I'm okay with that. It's like clipping a tiny amount. So I'm not super concerned. And now we can just go straight in. There we go. All right, that moves it out of the way a little bit. So why don't we start hooking these up? We're only going to need to hook up a couple of these, right? Because we're only doing one machine. Is that right? Mm, no, that's way off. It's going to clip, man. That's bad. I don't want it to clip. All right, that's acceptable. So it's going to be a little bit messed up. Just a little bit, not a lot. And this guy can actually go... No, he's going to have to go one out as well. Why can't I move? That's so strange. The mouse came off out of the game. So, like that. Is that right? No, that's too far away. Let's just go right here then, since I know... That's still too far away. So now I know it's got to be... Like, like that? Yeah, that's better. Okay. And actually, the one I want is this. So we'll have it come in the back as well. Okay, good. That's all we need for um, source, anyway. All right, so let's put this guy straight in. We shouldn't have done that first, but that's okay. Let's get these in. This might still connect. Yeah, okay. Receiving. This guy's also receiving. we got to come down a little bit. This is oscillators. And let's just do oscillators straight in. There we go. Great. Now we need output. Right? Just like always. Um, I'm kind of guessing there. Yeah, that's one too far away. I was, I was right the first time. Let's try it again. There we go. And that's correct. Okay, cool. Alright, so let's get let's get the lift into this guy. You know, I kind of felt the same way when I was playing Dyson Sphere Program. That if I didn't get if I didn't get a copy paste function, a blueprint function, like the game was gonna die for me. Because it was just taking so long to build very, very tedious factories. Um, and I felt like I couldn't really play the game. I felt like I couldn't have fun with the game. Which would be like building new factories, getting the next product online, stuff like that, you know? Like all I was doing was constantly just building the same thing over and over. Now, now, if you play Destiny Sphere Program, you would know what I'm talking about. Um, basically, the way it worked is... Uh, where is this thing? Yeah, it stops right there. Okay, um is, uh, they're very, very, no, that's not right. Is it? No, okay, it is right. My new one was wrong. But the factories are not very complicated in that game. Um, there are a few different factories, but they're just, they're not complex. And so what you end up doing, let's see if I can get this one right, because I don't have any lines. Actually, it should be back here. is you would end up just like configuring these guys all day long and their configuration was really boring actually that's one back yeah that's that's complete that's wrong let's just draw it up i won't build a new conveyor should i should have trusted my lines there we go there ha there's a door here right no i didn't build a door yet okay let's put one in so yeah um a lot of people like i don't know how many people actually quit the game but it really made it difficult to kind of keep having fun in the game because literally you just felt like all you're doing all day long is, um, yeah, that's right, is just building these these really generic factories that were really just boring. 
and you just did it over and over and over and over. It was, it sucked. Then when we got that that blueprint mod, it was like night and day, dude. It was night and day. The game became really fun again. It took the tedium out. Um, again, tedium really is subjective. It's not objective. Tedium to some people, the things that are tedious are really fun to other people. And so it's not to knock those things. I, I don't think. However you want to play the game is how you should play it. Um, definitely not going to knock any, anybody's way of playing. Now let's go get the oscillators. They should have some built up by now. Probably like 30 of them or something. We probably need to put another manufacturer in, but since I'm hand-feeding it, we're just going to leave it the way it is for now. So I think what's going to happen is I'm going to want to set up those alternate builds for all the manufacturing because they're just going to produce a lot more. I'm not going to have 50, 50, have to have 50,000 machines and stuff set up. Uh, it's going to hurt a little bit, but that's okay. I think another thing is, once I get, I'm hoping that this copy-paste mod allows me to copy my logistics setup. So that when I get a, like a line of logistics, like with the um, hyper tubes and all that stuff set up, I can just literally slap that in and don't have to build each hyper tube, right? Each thing that I've built a hundred times, just keep building it the same. Um, it'll probably allow me to spend more time making buildings look beautiful instead of like building i've literally rebuilt and you if you were on stream you guys saw this i rebuilt this freeway two or three times now this is like my fourth iteration of freeway and and freeway is not that fun to build <laughs> it's it's just flat stuff so i'm trying to explain things without complaining i guess is my point um but yeah let's go get those oscillators i'm kind of pretty excited about season two actually I'm super excited about it. now that I know how this game works and what we should be doing and how how to do everything and like I've learned a lot of the what to do what not to do stuff. Um, I'm I think I'm just having a great time and I can't wait to get into the season two knowing what I know and I can start out knowing how to set up my logistics and and the freeways and how I'm going to want them to be built and everything so I don't have to rip stuff out and I think that's probably the way a lot of people play this game is they do a playthrough and it's all janky and once it gets too spaghetti like they just they just start over right but it's really kind of can't do that in YouTube you have to mostly stick with what you're building or rip it out off camera and try it again you don't really you can't just start over 10 times. I mean, I guess you could. I, I don't think that'd be very successful because I think people feel like they feel abandoned. Like they're starting to enjoy your series, let's say, or your, your, your Let's Play. And then when you change seasons, they feel abandoned because they really liked what they were seeing. And they don't want to see you start over from scratch. That's, they especially don't want to see you start over from scratch like 10 times. Like maybe once, maybe twice, okay? But not 15 times. And again, I don't know why. Oh, no, it was still on. So, again, tell me in the comment section what you think about me starting over. Um, I just feel like it's better at this point to do, since I'd rather have a network that is already working for me instead of what I feel is like against me. Okay, so we're going to get a bunch of oscillators in here, and it's going to start producing computers right away. Now, computers take forever to build, so this isn't going to even build that many of them. Actually, this is the wrong ladder. Oh, we didn't even select what we wanted. So let's select the alt ver uh, computer recipe here. And it didn't like that, probably because it don't have any power. So let's just grab it off this, actually. And it would go back here from how we're doing it with other things. And then like this. There we go. Now we have now we have computers. So we're going to get 2.8 per minute. So this actually produces computers faster than we can produce oscillators. That's why I think we need... There isn't an, an oscillator, alt oscillator build that I didn't get it. Actually, let's check the MAM and see if, if I can shove a, um, a drive in it right now. I know we probably are discontinuing the series, but let's keep going as if we are not, since that's not really set in stone yet. Okay. Ooh! Oh, coated iron? Well, that's an easy way to make a plate. Jeez. Although, really, isn't it just plates and screws or something? Well, now it's plates and sheets or something I have it. So that's mine's way better. That's okay. At least it doesn't use plastic. So I'm going to pick I'm gonna pick that. Let's put another hard drive in. Oh, man, I'm almost out of drives. All right, so we actually did... It's actually not manufacturing. It's AP, right? It's um, assembly plant add computers. We did that. 
So I think the next thing we would do, actually, let's see if we can, well, we need 100 computers and 50 um, ma um, heavy frames, right, to get that power, st the um, expander power infrastructure. So why don't we grab the EIBs from over here that we need? We need 200, right? I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna try to jank it. I'm, I'm not gonna be able to do it. Let's just go over here. I don't want to fall. I keep talking about wasting camera time, and then I'm just gonna let myself fall, huh? Might be nice too to make these areas right here able to be walked around in. That would be kind of neat. Like maybe if since this is, it's not really too high, but I can go up one. The conveyor holes, I guess, could go right there. How would that look? Yeah, see, that'll work. Then I can walk around in here and stuff. That's probably a good idea, honestly. We need 200 of these guys. That leaves me with 90, so why don't we get... Well, let's just fill it up. There. I should probably get some uh, resupply on the way down to the, to, the, uh, to the hub. Looks like we're good on everything, except we're going to want... Definitely concrete, rods, plates, right? Rods, plates, and plates. Steel beams. Well, I got plates over here, so let's go get those. Come on. Uh, actually, I can't get there from here. So, why don't I... Are we just sinking those? Yeah, we should be sinking those. Our sinks should be doing crazy things now. Let's go look. Oh, they're not coming out very fast, so this is at 15,000. Wow, 10 tickets? That's pretty good. Pretty good. I know uh, Update 6 is actually going to come out pretty soon. So, I did see that they got half foundations in. I think I already talked about that. That is pretty cool. I'm really jazzed about that. Um, but they said that they won't be in the game when it first comes out because they're too buggy. So, they said if you added them in, this is what Jesse told me, so I hope it's correct. If not, it's fine. Um, I sh if I want perfect information, I should go get it myself. But Jesse does help out a lot, so does Greg, a few other people with info. Alex, you help a lot too. Um, but that they're just going to remove them. You won't be able to place any new ones. So the ones you have will still be there. You won't have holes in your stuff. But you won't be able to place any new ones. And why is this coming out so slowly? You know what? It's because this needs to be pumped up is what it is. Let's just get ourselves a couple hundred more of those. I can actually put this back. I really don't need 300. There we go. All right, let's go get um, iron plate and iron rods, and then we will pick up some concrete. We'll check the hub and see if we can do a mile. Well, we can't really do a milestone. We probably should also look at... Why don't we go get our um, heavy modular frames and see how close we are to that. Um, let's go up. This is really not the, a good way to get around, but I think because I have all these belts everywhere, I don't have a good way to get around. I need a better travel system, and I think really quick tubes is the way, for sure. Um, I really need to set up quick tubes. I gotta, I gotta rush quick tubes, which, which I think, or hyper tubes. And I think hyper tubes are tier three, or maybe four, which is not that deep in the game. That's not that tough. I also think I'm gonna, like, not as quickly. Either I'm not as quickly going to build permanent factories. It really will depend if I can, obviously, if I can get trains and stuff, it makes more sense to build permanent factories straight away. I might just have a jank build for a little longer and push through the tiers faster. Um, I don't need factories to do that. It takes a lot of build time to do it. And a looking jank is fine because it's not going to stick around very long. Let's go see how many modular frames we have. Do we have 50? Oh, we have more than 50. Let's take another 50 with us. Sweet. Uh, let's see if we need any more materials here. Concrete, we're doing okay. Okay, yeah, EIBs, we're doing well. Uh, okay, good, good, good. We're good. We're going to get another 150 or so out of that. Let's check um, oscillators, because we need 100 computers. Yeah, we're good. I think we just need to set up... Let's set up another one of these. Hmm. I really need to get the alt recipe, because it's only three items. I can just grab the other items and put them in here. I think it's AI limiters, one of the items, though. If that's the case, I'm going to have to make those in the assembly plant. How many of these do we have now? Probably like three or four. Yeah, eight. That's not that many. Let's pick them up anyway in case I go back to the assembly plant. I can put those in for computers. 
Another thing I can't really do is I can't sit around and wait for computers to be built. Like, if I get to a point in the game where I'm just literally sitting there, um, that's, not, you know, non-camera time, right? Let's drive this down to the lower area now that we're up here. Because this is... It's better to be here so I can just move around and get what I need. Uh, now, one thing I can't really do... I can't drive this all over the place, so... I have to run to certain facilities. Let's do the Tokyo Drift. Nice. And get the stuff on my own. Like, down here, see, this is not connected. Because the ramping would basically make this, uh... All this other part of the freeway just non-existent. Another thing I've noticed is... I, it's with your having your freeway so elevated, it's hard to see the nice buildings. So I think another thing I might have to do is either keep my freeway very low, which is going to limit the space I can use in the map, or raise the whole operation up off the floor, right? So that I can use, I can have buildings that I can see from the freeway, because that's going to look cool. I like that. I like how this building looks, and I want to be able to see it up close. It doesn't look as cool from far away, especially when you're looking down on it, right? Another thing to talk about, which I already talked about on stream, is that, um, let's see, do I need any cable and stuff? Uh, maybe a little cable, and I should probably fill up on wire. There we go. Uh, is that I might be trying, I don't even know if I can do this now, to have people help me um, on, like, a multiplayer version, right? Just get into multiplayer, and that way I can get some people um, helping me uh, do some buildings off camera. Like create some cool factories and stuff. Uh, pipes, am I good? Um, let me let me top up. I feel pretty good. Let me top up. But they can help me build buildings and stuff. And then what we can also see is a like more than one type of architecture. That'd be really neat. I again, since I don't have as much time to build, it would be really cool to see how other people build buildings, right? So I can get some people in the game to build me. Like I'm like, hey, I need a um, a concrete plant, right? I'm gonna have a lot of concrete structures in there, a lot of machines working on concrete. Build me something cool, and then they're gonna have to show me how it works, probably, right? Because they're gonna be like, okay, inputs come in here, outputs are over here. We got train depots like this, you know, and they're gonna have to sh show me how they set it up. But they could show me show off something really cool. I think that'd be kind of neat. Uh, another way for people to interact with the series and stuff. I think that's good. Let's leave space for um, concrete because I'm needing a ton of that. So let's go get concrete now. And that was not a good look. Did you see? Ooh, can I can I use that? Look at that. That was cool. Look at. Is this area off? We might have cut the power here. Yeah, the power's. Power's out, I think. There's no power over here. Power's running. Why are we not getting more pipes? This is empty, correct? Okay. That means steel. It must be the steel plant. Steel plant screwed up. So maybe the power to the steel plant plant has been disconnected. Right, because this is all running below now that I've tried to... Oh, nope. Look, it's... It's iron. Right, let's go back and figure out the iron issue then. At least, the belts do make it easier to figure out if you have problems. Because you can just look at the belt. I know where to go for this. Uh, let's use this one, though. This is a nice tune. It's a little bit faster than me running uphill. Yeah, I think all of our, um, I think our smeltery is offline. I did clean up some wiring over there on, on stream, so I probably just disconnected something and didn't reconnect it. There's a lot of jank power stuff going on in my, in my factory. So I try to clean some of that stuff up. But you never know if you're disconnecting the right wire. So I'm going to fix this, and then we're going to be done. So it looks like only a few of them are screwed up, right? Only a couple. So we've got power here. I bet you it's these other two guys over here. Do we have power here? Can't see. Yes, okay, we've got power there. Well, obviously we have power here. It's connected, it's connected. This is running. Is this running? That's running. Oh, it's inside the factory itself. 
so the ore is still running. It's that what I did is I cleaned up the connections right here, but now this is disconnected the factory. So let's get that reconnected in. Uh, and I used a hypertube, so let's turn this back on. Now, I believe it's this. Right? Yeah, okay, good. Well, this side is fine. It looks like it's across the way that's not. Because usually what I do is this. So let's just hook this up. Let's just do one of these. Because I usually have one of these in, in every logistics area. I hook it to the middle. Right? Which would be like right there. And then I hook it over here. And I didn't, couldn't quite make it. Okay, so let's see where we can go with this. Oh, that's just a nothing. Well, is there something over here? Or maybe over here? <laughs> okay, this is probably disconnected. There's a wire there, but why don't we hook it to this? So I think what we're going to have to do is just literally do this. There we go. Now this whole other side is back to working. And do I want to color this whole thing? Yes. Alright, fixed. Troubleshooted, shotted, and fixed it. And now I need a wall here. Why doesn't this have a wall? There is no wall for me to connect to. Um, well, that sucks. Um, I think I can just do this. I can do this guy, and I can put him back here. Like that, and then I can literally just do this. No, like that. And then this. And that should be it. And then I do have to fix the other wall from the other side that I, I screwed up. Alright, there we go. We're good to go again. But And it's been cleaned up. That's nice, too. Because it was ma it was nasty over there. There was the power lines everywhere, man. It sucked. Cool. Alright, back in the factory. This is the first factory ever built, so it's really janked. It's Everywhere is jank on this thing. In fact, look, there's this is not even painted. But it still looks cool. I like how it looks. This is not how I would build it if I did it again, but... It is what it is. I also might think of a different way to put, like, just a wall in here or something to connect wiring to. Maybe have a central area where the wire comes in or something like that. I really could spend a little bit more time making my, uh, making my factories look a little cooler, honestly. Just now I know how the game works, man. So, that looks cool. All right. I think it's done. Let's go out and look at, at the, uh, let's go look at where all the ingots come out and see if that actually fixed it. All of our um, ingot lines should be full now. Because that might have actually been affecting copper as well. Yeah, good. We're, good. we're back to normal. Caterium is strange. It goes up over here to the Caterium factory. Like, normally I just put that with a train. So here's going to be something interesting, okay? I'm going to have multiple trains coming in here because we're going to have a different station for each type of, of ingot. So that's going to be something that's really going to be fun to, well, n fun to figure out. Because what we're going to have to do is they're very wide, right? Or we're going to have to stack them. We're going to have to make the ramps, like, the train go up. The thing is, train doesn't like to go up. So, you don't, you know, two in a two-meter incline, like, using two-meter ramp, takes, like, 400 meters or more, right? It's, like, off in the distance. And you're like, well, I needed my train right here, man. So I'm going to have to really figure that out. Another way is to do side-by-side. Like, so what you can do is, like, the trains would pull in like this and then maybe back out and go that way or something like that where you have multiple stations like that, one for each type of a product or something. I'm going to have to mess around with that. I'm going to need a lot of space for that. So I can't be going up and downhill and all that crap. I'm going to have to have my horizontal space. Anyway, that's going to do it for this episode. Let me know what you think in the comment section, especially about Season 2. Um, I think it's going to be interesting. I've already got the mods I want to use. We really just wait for update 6 to drop, and then all the mods are going to update, so that might take a little while. And that's why we're not going to stop this series, actually. And actually, no, we're not done. Let's go try to finish... Well, we can't finish this objective, but let's put some stuff in here. Do I have 400 rubber? I don't. So let's go get the 400 rubber real fast, and then we'll finish this thing. Um, I'm going to probably try to get the 100 
computers off camera because really it's just waiting. There's really nothing to do except wait and like load um, materials and stuff. So I probably will do that off camera. Uh, let's just drop down here though. I'm going to jump in the water to do the jump in the water trick again. But yeah, in the new one, again, it will be fun to have everything kind of set up. I'm going to die, watch. Oh my god. I got it. I did it. I made it. Oh, I didn't! But because you can't die at full health, I didn't die. <laughs> cool. Alright, so anyway, let's grab this rubber. You know what? I'll just see you on the next episode. I'll throw this stuff in there. I'll have computers and all that stuff done. And uh, it's going to be a great time. Stay frosty.